Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Taurus. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. Okay, you guys, let's see what's happening. What is the overall energy surrounding Taurus? Overall energy surrounding Taurus regarding their love life. What is the overall energy in your love life, Taurus? True love, wow, all right and worth waiting for and wedding and heart to heart oh my goodness there's something going on here some of you may be waiting for somebody to come in to have a heart to heart okay there's going to be a talk i feel about uh commitment doesn't have to be marriage it could be just about a commitment all right making a commitment to have that heart to heart as well very interesting true love this is the romance of a lifetime, Taurus. What's going on? What's coming in? What's going out? It's changing in the love lives of the Taurus viewers. Clear messages and guidance for Taurus, please, regarding their love life. Taurus. Love energy in the cards. What do they need to know? Taurus, love energy in the cards. There we go, Taurus. And you have, oh my goodness, Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow. <laughs> telling you there's something cooking here yeah there's something that's going to end painfully here a situation is going to be at an end there's a new beginning in love i feel like this has been a long drawn out situation for some of you when i see that 10 it's like it's been <laughs> it's been tough waiting for a long time for this some of you maybe even 10 years very interesting we have the six of pentacles beautiful energy sorry i had to yell at my dog the barking yes the barking it just seems like soon as i get a nice spread going she barks <laughs> she's working for the demon side i know it <laughs> a little tart all right let's see what's going on here you guys yes there's something some of you have been holding out waiting all right for this situation very interesting looking at all the details yeah there's somebody who's waiting for you or you're waiting for them but this is something you've been holding out waiting for waiting yeah for a long time some of you have waited a very long time this is queen of cups energy someone who's had a very tough time in their love life look at that yeah there's been a lot of confusion there's been fear all right yeah somebody's getting ready to reach out here and we have the six of wands you're going to get some success here some of you have held out for success too you've waited for that right person that right opportunity very nice yeah cooperation compromise you have a lot in common with this new person i feel yeah wheel of fortune's moving in your favor there is some kind of truth some kind of victory and with this oh my gosh i, I can't even believe this spread craziness good thing i didn't just turn off and start over when the dog barked i tell you all right i'm just going to put these here i guess so yeah there's somebody's having an epiphany there is definitely some success somebody's coming in to cooperate compromise teamwork you're going to have a lot in common and what that is is you both had a tough time in love you've both been fighting very hard to find that one it's been an uphill battle a very painful long ordeal this is someone who searches for that perfect person their whole life so there is some success there is a new offer coming in there could be even an engagement and yes it could lead to marriage so very nice energy taurus what the heck's been going on with you guys tell me about this ace of cups there we go yeah we got taurus virgo capricorn energy yeah there's somebody here who has been planning something for a long time working through the process this is an offer of a fresh new start it's love it could be you taurus or it could be somebody with earth in their chart or a king of pentacles energy somebody who's slower moving very practical very grounded financially stable maybe somebody who has been planning and making sure they're financially stable before they move towards a new beginning in love very nice energy ten of swords what's going on here with the ten of swords there we go yeah so somebody is ready to make a decision yes there is a rebirth there is uh, a great healing after a painful situation okay this has been a long drawn out painful situation it's time somebody is awake and ready very nice there's a decision being made there's a plan 
All right, take this as it resonates. Taurus, it could be you or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or like I said, somebody with this energy who's been, I feel it's like someone who's been planning financially to become financially stable before they start a new beginning. Okay, this is somebody who's been paying attention to the details, crossing those T's, dotting those I's, wanting to go about everything just right, looking for that perfect person. So we have the Six of Pentacles. Yes, there's somebody who's ready to reach out. Somebody wanted to make sure I feel they were financially stable before they offered up. Yeah, so they, it's somebody who wanted to be able to be generous, to reciprocate properly. Okay, that's what I feel. There's this, yeah, somebody's awake and ready to go. Six of Pentacles, there we go. Yes, somebody wanted to make sure they had all the abundance. This person wants to be able to spoil somebody. They wanted to make sure they were financially stable so they could come in. Yes, look at that, with abundance. There's a lot of possibilities here with this person. They are definitely, this is somebody also who wants to make sure that their partner is able to reciprocate, right? This is the two of you coming together. There's a lot of possibilities, a lot of abundance, but this is someone who wants to, wanted to make sure they were stable financially so they could, you know, reciprocate properly, uh, make abundant offers. Beautiful. Uh, with this energy down here, Taurus, maybe this is somebody who wanted to wait till they had enough money to buy a really nice ring. <laughs> I, I don't know where that came Came from it just popped into my head so for somebody out there somebody is waiting they're saving their money working very hard uh, towards that cause four of pentacles what's going on here yeah someone's been holding on to their money saving yeah waiting for that perfect love waiting for the right time someone's been paying attention to all the details being grounded practical beautiful four of pentacles Yes, and we have, yeah, so there's someone who definitely uh, has been waiting, right? Somebody's been holding on, waiting for their wishes and dreams, right? Look at that, holding on and waiting, waiting for those wishes and dreams to come true. The situation may have seemed out of reach at some point. Somebody maybe felt they didn't have enough, they needed to hold on to their money. All right, I feel like you could be getting a, a wish come true. Someone holds you in very high regard. And I feel with this energy, this person, or this is you, uh, this is your energy here as well, Taurus, all right? There's Libra energy here too. Your person may have Libra in their chart, uh, as well as Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I feel as though, got Aquarius energy too. I love it, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel as though... This person, uh, they want, they were trying to hold on to their money. I feel like they want to hold on to you. I don't think they want to let go now that they found that one because it's taken a long time. And I feel that now that they feel financially stable, the whole point was, was to make sure they could treat somebody properly, all right, to give them their wish come true. So... There is something that needed to be healed and let go of, and it is to do with this lack of reciprocity. So you may have somebody here who, um, some of you, there could be a reconciliation energy where there's going to be this very, this is a both healing cards, all right, where somebody didn't reciprocate. Uh, maybe they didn't see the possibilities in the past. But this is something, and I, I actually feel like they do, but they were holding back. They felt they didn't have enough money to be generous, uh, you know, to, you know, this is somebody who wants to be generous. They want to be able to offer that abundance to their person, that person they hold in high regard. So it's somebody who was holding back, okay, getting ready, saving up, planning for the future, beautiful, because that's what the King of Pentacles does. That's the energy of someone who plans into the future, uh, making sure they have everything they need because they want to go about it right. They want to be able to be generous. They're also, like I said, looking for someone who reciprocates, right? They want to make sure they have someone who reciprocates. Queen of Cups. Yes, there we go. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah, this is somebody who is emotionally stable. This is another thing. This person's been holding out and they wanted to make sure they were financially and emotionally stable they wanted to make sure they had a person they reciprocated that there was real love there okay very nice energy yeah so there's this manifesting finances manifest manifesting emotional stability it's taken a long time 
for this person to find the one. And I feel it's definitely got your energy written all over it. Uh, Virgo Gemini energy here as well. Some of you a Gemini Taurus cusp or Gemini Taurus cusp. Aquarius and Libra in your charts. We have the moon. Cancer Pisces. Why is the moon here for Taurus? Taurus energy here. What's going on with Taurus? There we go. Where did it go? There it is. Yes, yes, yes. You both have, but you, both of you have uh, probably similar moon energy. Could be Cancer Pisces moon. I feel like you're both afraid. You both have some fear. You're both keeping a lot of things to yourself. You're keeping this to yourselves. You're both very private, I feel, as well. Um, but I do see a bit of a fear here of manifesting this connection. Yeah, but there is, this is a special connection. I feel like you're both keeping each other's secret. You haven't told anybody about this yet. You've both been doing your shadow work, I feel. All right, definitely doing that shadow work. Very lovely. Yeah, this is worth waiting for. Somebody's been waiting for the right opportunity, waiting for a, a lifetime for this person to come in, this perfect person. And there is some success here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you. some of you probably have Cancer Pisces moons here. Uh, there's something that you have that's the same. All right. Yeah, there's this romantic energy between the two of you, and that's the moon energy as well. <laughs> romantic feelings, feeling that mental and emotional connection with the moon. Yes. Yeah, I feel like there's fear, though. I have to say it. I'm sorry, but I see this as fear. Um, fear of the connection. Fear of not finding the one, of not being able to manifest Somebody's been really holding on to you and it just the situation sort of seemed out of reach. I feel like somebody may have gone through some kind of awakening or they needed to wake up to put an end to a long, drawn out, painful situation to do with finding that love. And I feel like you found each other and I feel like you both have a fear of, you know, sharing your feelings, sharing your emotions. Neither one of you have probably told each other how you feel there's a need for some heart-to-heart -heart conversations here all right heart-to-heart -heart conversations between the soulmate beautiful tell me about the six of wands why is the six of wands here for taurus there we go yes yeah some of you are afraid to fear of success right <laughs> fear of not getting what you want fear of not connecting finding the one you know this is that manifesting very hard all right, somebody's been concentrating, manifesting their um, feeling safe and secure with somebody. All right, manifesting a new beginning, finding that one. You both have all the tools you need, okay? Uh, you and another person are definitely going to connect. If it hasn't happened already, it's going to because you're going to manifest each other. But for those of you who know this person, uh, something may have ended in the past, this person is waking up to the idea of commitment. There is a need for heart to heart. There's shadow work being done. Both of you have a fear of there not being success. All right. Yeah, there is a little bit of fear here. <laughs> it's all right. It's perfectly normal, especially if you've been waiting your whole life and you've had a lot of uh, pain and it's been this uphill battle, uh, very emotional situation. But there is some kind of stability here. You know, somebody wants to make sure they find somebody who's stable, not just financially, but emotionally, someone they can feel safe and secure with because of this fear. Okay, very interesting. Three of Pentacles. Someone probably has a bit of a fear of commitment. They're afraid it won't, won't uh, lead to success. So there's a need for a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Tell me about... The Six of Wands, more info. This actually belongs here. Yeah, some of you also have a fear of third-party situations because of there's been it's been a long, painful battle. That's another thing that somebody's going to reciprocate to someone else. I feel like there's someone who's afraid you're going to get away. Um, and this is what I feel like. So that's why I feel like there's a person you already know, probably an ex or somebody where things didn't take off. You may have had a new beginning and things have been moving really, really slow. 
and uh, but it's time to make this decision. Somebody's about to make it. You are your person. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, so there is going to be success to put an end to this painful situation here, okay? Yeah, there's definitely a fear. Someone's afraid there's a third party. Somebody's got a fear or there's jealousy, okay? This is shadow work that needs to be done. And the reason why there's this fear is neither one of you have shared your feelings and your emotions with each other. Okay, somebody has a fear. They hide their feelings and their emotions. They keep it to themselves. Okay, uh, this is someone who needs to feel very safe and secure, very grounded with the person that they're with. Because this is my safety, security, financially stable. All right, feeling safe, finding that somebody is reliable. All right, that's another thing. Manifesting uh, everything that you need. You both have everything you need, but you're both manifesting through this fear all right and that's something that you need to take a look at it's time to purge that and let it go some of you have been holding on uh, and being very stuck in your love lives because of fear <clears throat> fear of third parties fear of getting hurt fear of coming together if you're financially stable losing money the other person not reciprocating sharing okay very interesting something to do with that needs to be healed and let go of to bring this abundance this new beginning in love you both have everything you need if you come together uh, i feel in this situation so we have three of pentacles there we go yes look at that yeah somebody is ready to reach out somebody wants to reach out uh, this is offering somebody what they want that cup that feeling that emotions i feel like it's yeah there's you both have something in common you've only offered one cup and nothing more all right but it's time to offer up that full cup just like up here somebody's been stuck thinking and planning that it's time to do that offer up this love give this person what they want commitment marriage for some of you this is somebody you're with and things you know have been moving along slow and steady uh, but there are some issues where you're not sharing your deepest feelings you're not sharing your fears you're not talking there's a need to talk it through and you're both hiding that you know that uh, your feelings from each other because of it so it's really important here to put an end to this to have success you need to put an end to this uh, there is an end to a long painful drawn out situation like i said some of you it's been a 10 year long ordeal others of you you know not as long uh, you know 10 months maybe even just 10 days I feel as though here, yeah, somebody's having this epiphany. There's something that's going to end to do with this fear. Somebody needs to put an end to their fear by sharing their feelings. They need to cooperate because you both have a lot in common. And that's the thing is, is you're both afraid, uh, afraid of being hurt, afraid of sharing your feelings. You both want each other. You both see each other as a wish come true. You see the possibilities. But yeah, it's like, you know, some people have a really hard time with that. They have a really difficult time putting their feelings to words, you know, and it's time. I see that here very much. It's definitely time to put an end, to move forward. Someone's having an epiphany. Now, there's a time to speak a truth, to clear things up. It's time to commit. Somebody is ready to commit. They're ready to plant this seed to make this offer. So really nice energy, Taurus. Like I said, this could be you or somebody is reaching out towards you. So we have true love. What's going on here with this true love? There we go. Yeah, somebody is going to reach out. They're going to go slow. They're going to take these little baby steps. They will eventually get there. So you need to be patient. You need to give this person a chance to, because um, they're a little, sh this is somebody who might be a bit shy, a little apprehensive. Okay. Um, there is love here, but they're afraid. This is someone who needs the time. Um, through heart to heart conversation through patience all right for this person to come in and share their feelings now this may not be both of you but i feel like it is with this cooperation compromise this is uh, definitely somebody where you both have it this is both of your energy you're both in this you know you, those are the things you have in common you're you both want each other you both see each other as a wish come true but you both are afraid to share your feelings so you get stuck here your love life is out of reach because you're stuck um, and it's a fear of losing money too i really feel like there is a fear of this somebody's holding on to their money everything they've worked for okay a fear of offering up love because of it uh, you both have that fear and i feel like when you talk about it you'll 
you know, there's going to be some things that are going to be cleared up here. Some truth is going to be spoken. There's going to be some really great success here. Somebody's understanding themselves. They're waking up. They're going through this healing. They know that they need to release this energy to come towards you, all right? And um, they've been really working through this for quite some time. And I think it's going to be quite a surprise. <laughs> Divine timing. Worth waiting for. Yes. Why is this here? Divine timing worth waiting for. Why is this here for Taurus? There we go. Yes, waiting for this new beginning, waiting for somebody to come and clear things up, to put everything out in the open so it's clear. Okay, beautiful, beautiful healing. The sun is very healing. There's lots of healing energy in this reading. I love it. This card, this card, the judgment card, fertility, which is uh, empress energy. And the star is also healing, purging, releasing old baggage, old fears, old hurts. Yes, letting go. Someone's looking at the details here. They know what they need to do. So to have you, to be with you. Tell me about wedding. Tell me about this wedding. This is the loveliest energy. Yeah, there's a commitment on the table here. Yeah, there is something happening here. Some of you literally could get married on the World Wide Web. You may have to have a wedding. like, um, And I know it's because of all this um, lockdown, a lot of people are, are actually videoing and, and putting their weddings out. And I actually know someone who's done this recently, put it out on a video. They had to do this um, <laughs> wedding with nobody there, okay, basically. Uh, so this could be happening. But I also feel like with the world... Uh, <laughs> Um, this person's coming back around. There's something that's going to evolve, and I feel like you're going to have to let things evolve. Let this give this person like let things grow naturally to get to that. Somebody wants to come in. You need to give them a little bit of patience. They need. They're a little shy about expressing their feelings. They have a fear. All right. Someone's afraid of getting hurt if they put their feelings out there too. So give them an opportunity. Whoever this is, you'll know it. You'll know who this person is if you don't know them yet and they do come towards you you're going to find they're a bit shy or they don't share their feelings they may not reciprocate very much at first because they're very much in protective mode but if you're patient and allow things to evolve naturally it will happen heart to heart conversations what's going on here some of you it is somebody coming back for a reconciliation heart to heart conversations what is going on here Oh, big sneeze. All right, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Let's have it. Why is this here? What are these heart-to-heart -heart conversations about? What's going on with heart-to-heart -heart conversations? For Taurus and their love interest. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, someone's afraid. Yeah, someone's afraid. Someone doesn't trust. Yeah, someone has trust issues. That's the problem. There's going to be a lot of talk about trust issues. You both need to give it time to figure things out. Someone's trying to figure out how to trust, how to take the things that they fear and leave behind. Okay. Um, when I see this, this is somebody who's learning from past experiences. Somebody, because of past experience, somebody doesn't trust. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But this is somebody who's trying to figure out how to deal with their trust issues. Very interesting. Taking what they've learned and moving forward. So someone who's learned from the past not to trust, trying to figure out how. They want to win at all costs. So they're going to come in and uh, talk. There's going to be a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You probably both have fears of being hurt. You probably both have trust issues because that's that you both have it right here in the middle. You know, looking for that perfect love your whole life. Uh, looking for somebody you can feel safe with and trying to manifest it. You both have all the tools. You're both the same. You're mirroring each other is what it's saying. And that's why if you've got this person and things have been stagnant, it seems out of reach. This is why there's a need to talk about your fears, um, trust issues. You both need to give it time for things to evolve, to figure each other out, to see that you're actually feel the same way you both actually want each other you both want this 
Okay, it's time to clear things up, time to speak that truth, uh, to have this new beginning. And it's right here. This is very reliable, it's practical, it's grounded, it's starting from the bottom, allowing things to grow naturally. Beautiful energy, you guys. I'm going to grab some outcome cards here, see where this is going to go. It's the outcome of this situation for Taurus and their love interest. Wow. Some Leo energy there as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Here we go. Taurus. Yeah, somebody needs a little leg up. Someone's a little shy. They it's like it's almost like they're waiting for you to come in and start this new beginning too. They it's like they need you to expose your feelings so they'll feel comfortable exposing theirs. Okay, or vice versa. Flip that however you need. And I kind of feel like it's more like you, Taurus, like you need this person to like reach out and share those feelings to help you purge right to let go of your fear because it's like if you don't tell me how you feel i can't tell you how i feel right things get very stuck you're both holding on to fear holding on to things from the past okay it's time to purge that old energy and let it go old relationship baggage fear being hurt fear being played there we go. Yep, time for a nap. So, yeah, you've been on a break. Some of you have been on a break. This is also an energy of the moon. It's time to clear those fears, right, with that moon energy. Very interesting. Time to think, to take some time to think about it, to clear the energy, to allow this to heal, okay? It's time to let it heal. So you've been on a long break. I feel like there's probably been a lot of healing already where people are becoming, you both, possibly, by the looks of it, it's both of you. Uh, becoming having this epiphany it's time to clear this old energy to get this wheel of fortune moving time to put it uh, end of a very long painful cycle of losing out on love being able to commit a fear of commitment fear of being hurt to have this new beginning it's the outcome of this situation for Taurus yes unfinished symphony you have unfinished business with somebody there's things that need to be cleared up this is not over some of you may think you have a relationship that's over uh, this is you feel like this is a true love situation somebody is coming in someone's been holding on they want to heal this past they want to come towards you they've been working through this process working on their emotions becoming more emotionally available it's possibly taken a very long time so some unfinished business with somebody Yes, but you have serendipity. So there is good luck here. This is that Wheel of Fortune energy. It's time. All right. There's an opportunity coming to move things forward here. It's time to co-create. Time to co-create. Time to... You're both... You both have good luck. You both see each other. You both see each other as good luck, the wheel of fortune. You both have, see this uh, abundance between the two of you coming together, that you'd make a very good team. You have a lot in common. Uh, you've been through a lot of the same things. You should both be able to understand each other. But the thing is, you need to talk about it. And I think once it's talked about, you'll actually understand each other's fears a lot. Uh, because when you don't talk and everything's blocked, you know, the mind has a tendency to go all over the place. You start to think about other things. You know, you get up in your head and you start figuring things out. Oh, I'm being played. I'm being hurt. This person's being deceptive. They're being dishonest. You know, it's time to leave that negative energy in the past, to take the things that you've learned from this period of separation, this break, to move forward, to take the time to figure each other out, to fix this situation by talking, okay? Very, very nice. <laughs> Someone is afraid to talk. They are afraid because they want success. Somebody is getting ready to come in, but they need a little leg up. So if they come in, give them an opportunity. Give them that little bit of boost by sharing some of your feelings. Okay, there's a need for some patience here. Okay, there's a need to um, allow things to evolve. All right, don't Whoever this is, if they're very special to you, if you understand this reading and this is your situation, you're going to know exactly what to do. And I feel there is going to be success and this very well could lead to marriage or commitment. All right. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I wish you the best. Bye for now.